I feel like my family has experienced cancer a lot, but I don't think that is particularly rare. I've got one very close family member who has been through cancer in the past and another family member who is going through it right now. My dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer a few years ago. It was almost discovered by chance, really. Uh, but thankfully, his cancer was uh, responded well to treatment and he got the all clear. But other people aren't so lucky. And so I'm standing up to cancer for my dad and for everybody going through cancer. We want to help change the odds for people diagnosed with cancer so that more people will survive in the future. And I'm here to learn what the incredibly clever scientists funded by Stand Up To Cancer are doing. Where am I? Why is it dark? Who are you? My name is Dr. Rachel Short, and I'm here to tell you about some of the exciting science that is happening right now, which is making radiotherapy more targeted. Okay. Lights on. So the spotlight represents the beam of radiotherapy that we fire at the tumour cells. But unfortunately, it's not just the tumour cells that are hit. If you represent the cancer cell, then I represent the healthy cell, then what we see is that the healthy cells are also caught by the radiotherapy beam. Okay. Now this can cause side effects to the body, and that's something we really need to avoid. So what we need to do is design better radiotherapy that targets the cancer cell and leaves the healthy cells intact. Tell me more, please. All right. So what we're doing here is we're delivering radiotherapy from multiple different locations. So we're delivering the same amount, but from smaller doses, and that means that we can target the cancer cell, avoid hitting the healthy cell, and potentially help save more lives. I love this. I am learning whilst also being in the spotlight, which is where I'm most comfortable. I can tell, I can tell that. Thank you. I'm gonna take these people with me everywhere. Take action now at su2c.org.uk.